This shortcut that I'm about to share with you is one of the best shortcuts that I've ever come across. It's my personal favorite and I've shared it with every class that I've ever walked into. It has literally made everyone jump off their seat. So make sure that you watch this video till the very end and give it a thumbs up if you like it and make sure that you subscribe to my channel in case you haven't. So let's get started. So in this video, we're going to learn how to square numbers close to 100 in three simple steps. So here I have example one in which we're going to square 104. So the first thing you want to do is you want to remember that your base is 100. So the first thing you want to do is you want to find out how much greater this 104 here is than 100. The answer to that is 4. So I'm going to write 4 in step one. In step two, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this 4 here and then I'm going to add it to the original value. So that means I'm going to add 4 to 104. So 104 plus 4 is equals to 108. So here I've obtained my first 3 out of the 5 digits. Now in step 3, we're going to obtain the remaining 2 digits. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the value of step 1. And in step 3, I'm simply going to square it. So what's the square of 4? 4 squared is 16. So here we have 16. So the answer to 104 squared is 10,816. Let's do another example. So here we have a 108 squared. Again, we're going to square this in three simple steps. So the first step is I'm going to find out how much greater 108 is than 100. So the answer to that is, of course, 8. The next thing you want to do is you want to add 8 to 108. So that gives us 116. So here we have the first three digits sorted out. Now, in order to obtain the remaining two digits, again, we're going to go back to step one and we're simply going to square it. So the square of eight is 64. So here we have the last two digits, 64. Now let's do another example. In example three, we have to square 112. So again, the answer to step one is we're going to find out how much greater 112 is than 100. That's of course 12. So 112 plus 12 is going to be equal to 124. So we have the first three digits. And for the last two digits, we're going to take the square of 12, which is equal to 144. So how do I place 144? Now that's the real question here. So again, nothing to worry about. All I have to do is I'm simply going to carry the one and I'm going to write 44 as it is. So the final answer is 1, 2, 5, because 4 plus 1 is 5, and then 4. Four. So there you have it, 12,544. You can grab a calculator and tell me whether it's correct or not. Now example four, in which we have to square 98. Now in this, in this, what you have to do is you want to find out the difference between this 98 here and 100. So the difference between 98 and 100 is 2. So the answer to step one is 2. Now in step two, I'm going to subtract 2 from 98. So that's going to give me 96. So we have the first two digits, 9 and 6. Now in step 3, we're going to go back to the value we got in step 1 and we're going to square it. So 2 squared is 4. Now we have two blanks here and 2 squared is 4, which is just one digit. So how am I going to place this 4 here? The way to do that is we're going to write 0, 4. Now grab a calculator and quickly check whether it's correct or not. Now we have the fifth and the final example in which we have to square 96. So again, first things first, we're going to find out with the difference between 96 and 100, the answer to that is 4. Let's subtract 4 from 96. 96 minus 4 is 92, so we have the first two digits. Now for the remaining two digits, we're going to take this 4 and then we're going to square it. So 4 squared is 16. So here we have the remaining two digits and the answer is 9216. Now I have a simple challenge for you. The challenge is that to look at the thumbnail of this picture and then I want you to tell me, not the final answer, but in fact tell me in the comment section how long did it take you to get to the final answer, all right? So that's all for this video. Here are the links to the two shortcuts that I made previously. You're very welcome to check them out and give this video a thumbs up. I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.